How you doing guys? Uh, I want to talk about you uh, doing voiceovers in DaVinci Resolve, which I made a video about this uh, a couple of years ago. I'm going to do an update for a couple of reasons. I found simply found an uh, easier way of doing it and I wanted to use an updated version that's give you additional um, features and functionality, which I'm going to show you toward the end of the video. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. Um, this is uh, version 17.1. So a lot of times when I'm doing voiceovers for a lot of the videos, I'll end up taking out the um, audio portion. And then when I'm doing my voiceover, add music and, and go from there. Depending how you do it, now in some instances you want to, may want to keep the background or the audio from the video track. I don't, so I'm going to show you a way how to do both as well. So when I simply um, drag the video I'm going to uh, use in the viewer window to select it. Normally from here I would simply drag the whole video to the timeline. As you notice you have the video and the um, stereo audio go down, down to the timeline as well. I don't do that. Um, I just want the video so if you go toward the bottom you can select either the uh, video or the audio. So simply we're gonna, I'm going to drag the video down to the timeline just like so. And that way I don't have to worry about deleting the audio track which also is often um, linked to the video which is kind of a big hassle to delete just just the uh, audio portion so that's great that's what I want uh, we're gonna go to the Fairlight tab and we already have a audio track ready for the video I'm going to be using we're gonna go to the um, Fairlight menu selection and select patch input and output from here we simply select your microphone this is a USB microphone I'm using right now so we're going to select that and for the um, destination audio output so we're going to go to track input which is going to go to the audio one right here is which what I want and I'm going to patch that in just like so we're good to go we can now close it and from here to record um, notice of course we still have the video track showing on the upper right hand side which is what we want because as we're doing the video and it changes we can add that in to do the audio voiceover for that we're going to go to the audio track on um, the left hand side and click the R button and as you can see now we have the input from the microphone going into um, the Fairlight audio page and simply we're just going to press the record button as normal and uh, record our voiceover um, this is the Airwings um, biplane and which is big yellow and it goes really really fast okay we'll just close out the audio clip just right here we're gonna go ahead and cut the uh, very end off just right there and there we go and then you just simply made your voiceover for the track when going back to the edit page as you can see that was added in there just as we want it very uh, easy peasy now going back to the Fairlight page I'm going to show you some other things um, now what's great they they finally added um, a, pl a free plugin it's called the dialogue processor which is great for voiceovers and um, even for um, for many multiple purposes so we can go to the right hand side right here now this has already been added but I'm going to show you how to add a new one. Um, so you can go to, uh, you simply cl uh, click the plus sign channel and then select your dialogue processor, which is great because it adds you, um, I think it adds you about five different effects designed around dialogue or voiceovers. Um, since I already have it enabled, we're going to click on that now. Bring that up. And so it adds you, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, it adds you six um, different plugins, which is great. It's all geared toward um, dialogue and um, things of that nature. So we do have a D Rumbler, uh, D Popper, D Esser, uh, your regular compressor, expander, and exciter. Obviously, the compressor being the most um, important. Before we go to that, you can also gear it toward male and female voices and um, of course a male voice it's a little hoarse right now so you hear a little bit of rumbling in there 
Um, now the expander exciter, the expander adds more dynamic range and the exciter is very much like, um, I'm trying to think, like the AFIX um, 204, you can uh, excites the, or enhances the high end, which is typical with uh, a lot of vocals. And from here, there you could of course adjust it, uh, adjust it as needed. So um, check that out; it's great. Um, now you can actually enhance the audio through multiple plugins all at the same time. So uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, it for this tutorial for doing voiceovers in DaVinci Resolve. In this case, uh, version seventeen point one. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later.